bum, 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 bum. Hello, friends. <laughs> Good to see you. Guess what? We got a new set. <laughs> Kevin, he's still part of the program. Don't worry. He's still around. He's still helping out with things. But <laughs> today is the first day with the new set. So are you ready? Let's begin. <laughs> Today's theme is weather. Weather. Aha! Uh -huh. Question. Quick, quick, quick. Um, are we sounding okay? I think uh, do a little sound check. Set. All right. Good, good, good. So, um, oh, oh, thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, um, the kind words. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks, thanks. The the crew's been working on it, and I've been uh, saying, like, you know, hey, it looks good, looks good. I want the desk here, I want this over here. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable. It's kind of spacious. Got some room. Okay, okay, let's get to the song, friends. Are you ready? <clears throat> it's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't get up in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> so, share with us, friends, something you like to do after you wake up in the morning. Yeah, still, still getting used to my arms in the space here, but I think that's good. All right, so. It's snowing, it's blizzarding, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't get up in the morning. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, eat breakfast. Okay. It's windy, it's blowing, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't eat breakfast in the morning. La, 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 la. Okay, so I got rain, snow, wind. Um, what's another good uh, type of weather? Hail, ready? It's hailing, it's hailing. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed. Couldn't drink coffee in the morning. La, 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 la. <laughs> this is just fun. So fun. Oh, yeah, hug my mom. I love, okay, we'll do one more. Now, uh, um, snoring. Let's see, he's going to bump, hug my mom. I think, uh, it's rain, snow. What's another type of precipitation? Weather. We got sun. It's, it's sunny. Okay. Uh, oh, sleet. What if I go with sleet? It's sleeting. It's sleeting. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and couldn't hug his mom in the morning. La, la, la. La, la, la. <laughs> This is so much fun singing, hanging out together. Thanks, friends. Let's see what Moby's got for us today. Did you know that hail is frozen water droplets that form during thunderstorms? I just read that. Oh, sometimes rain gets pulled upward into the cold parts of the atmosphere during a thunderstorm, and the droplets freeze. The hailstones get larger as more and more droplets freeze onto them. When they become too heavy, they fall from the sky during the storm. Whoa, hail is so cool. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty awesome indeed. Friends, we love to write stories. It's time for today's three sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. And the three words come from you! Ha ha ha! Yes, they do. Help us out, friends. Who's got an idea for the first word, the second word, and the third word? I'll come up with a story. In the first sentence, I will come up with a scene. In the second sentence, there will be a problem! No! <laughs> but do not worry, friends, because by the end, in the third sentence, there is a solution. <laughs> Indeed. So, friends, let's see what the um, first word might be to start today's story. We never know if the stories are silly. They're, they're usually pretty silly, by the way. Or are they like nonfiction, science fiction, fantasy? Are they, and by the way, these could be the start of a brand new idea 
that you take further in a whole different direction. This could be simply the outline for the story, or sometimes a little bit, a little possibility from the story sparks a whole new idea that we take further. So let's find out, friends, what the first word might be where I set the scene. Do, 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 do. Rain! <laughs> okay, rain. The story begins with rain. I looked out the window this morning and I saw that the day was going to be filled with rain. Oh no, there's going to be a problem. Bum, 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 bum. What do you think the... Oh, beard. Yes, indeed. A beard will be... Okay, I got it. I looked out the window today and I saw that it was going to be a day filled with rain. As I looked out the window, I saw a man with a beard who was looking for something. Oh no, it's actually my neighbor. Oh no, he's looking for something. What is he looking for? We need to help him find it. Hmm. What word could spark the solution to how we help him find? We don't even know what he's looking for. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's, um, maybe he dropped a coin? Maybe it's a toy? That got lost in the front yard? Hmm, friends, what could it be? My neighbor, who has a beard, is looking for something, and we need to help him find it. Um, hmm, ooh, Mr. Brad, who's on the show later. <laughs> He's got a cool beard. I wonder if he lost anything today. Hmm, we'll ask him if he did lose anything. But we gotta help. Ooh, maybe this could be Mr. Brad in the story. We're not, like, direct neighbors, but we live pretty close. Yeah. Oh, a cat! <laughs> okay, cat. Oh, I like the little picture that you got in there, too, of the cat. Okay. I looked out my window today, and, and I realized it was going to be a day filled with rain. I noticed my neighbor, a man with a beard, was looking for something. Right from the roof, a cat jumped down, landed right next to him, and went, <laughs> and he found the toy ball he was looking for. It was a toy. I was right. It was a toy that was lost, and he was looking for it. Ooh, did it rain yet in the story? I don't know if it did rain or not. It depends. Oh, we could make this a whole book later in the story, chapter two. Maybe that's where the rain comes. <laughs> Is the kitty going to get wet? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, friends, we are going to go to Brody in the Granville Wimage Lab to see what he's got for today's Wimage. Hey, Brody. Hi, Wimmy. <laughs> what do you think of the new set? I love it. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh Wimmy, oh, it's actually yeah. uh, one of my friends' birthday party. Birthday. Oh. Uh, Ephraim. Oh, let's say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ephraim. Wait a minute. Uh, Ephraim was on the show before, right? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Should we sing to him? Yeah. Okay, ready? Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ephraim. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that was fun. Awesome. So, what have you got for today's women's? So, whoa. You're your own neighbor. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's fun. And the cat. Uh, knocked off the ball. Off there the roof. It is. See it? Nice. I see it. I love it. It's sunny and rainy and cloudy. They must live in Michigan in that picture, right? <laughs> nice. Friends, you too can make your very own image, just like uh, Brody did there. Oh, yeah. Ephraim's watching. I was wondering. <laughs> nice. So cool. Um, Friends, you can make your very own image. Download it in the Apple Store for free. Change the colors, pick the words, rearrange, create a whole book, a whole series of images. <laughs> and friends, if you have ideas for more possibilities, let us know in the comments. What if, oh, let's see if Efren has an idea. Um, oh, let's put some snow. Yeah, we've got the wind, the sun, and the wind. Let's snow. <laughs> so Efron, if you have an idea in particular. Oh, we could put like a birthday cake in there actually for Efron. That's what we can do. F from. Oh, thank you for clarifying. Oh, birthday balloons. No. I'm saying no. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. 
Or do you want to type it? S N O W. There you go. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. So if you want to add some birthday balloons or decorations for Ephraim, and um, we'll check back with you later to see what you got. Nice. All right. Friends, it's time to go to Mr. Brad for today's language explorers. We get to see how to say today's words in Swahili. Hey, Mr. Brad. Hi, we me. Hi, Kevin. Uh, uh, was that you in our story for um, the bearded neighbor? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> What? And I where's, can't help find the ball. Where's Kevin, Wimmy? I can't oh, see him. Oh, yeah, we got a brand new set. Look at this. We got a new set. Kevin right now, I believe, is checking some emails, working on some paperwork. Wow. That's pretty cool that you guys can each be on the show separate now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think I'll still ask Kevin if he wants to be in the show. Should okay. we still let him do some stuff? Sure. I think you should once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say you look like you almost look like a news reporter or a television oh, anchor nice. at your table. Yeah, I got uh, I got some supplies here. I should just be like, oh no no, breaking news! This just in: a cat has lost a ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But speaking of that, what have you got for today's words? So the first word is rain. Mbua, mbua. Okay, the next word is beard. So I think uh, Kevin knows about beards. I think Michael has had a beard recently, and I certainly have a beard right now. So a lot of people on the show have beards, I guess. <laughs> so beard is ndevu, ndevu. The next one is a uh, cat, which is Paka. Nice. Paka. And um, I, I don't know if I can get a picture of her, but I was looking down right now because one of my cats is in the room with me right now. Oh, do you want to pick up the cat? Would that work? If she'll let me. I, no, run it away. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I guess the cat heard mention of her and ran, didn't want to be part of the show. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I love it. Mr. Brad, a.k.a. our friendly, neighborly, bearded neighbor. <laughs> Thanks for today's words. Yeah. All right. So we've got words. We've got a story. We've got all kinds of fun things. Right now, friends, it's time for Explore and Create with our friends at GRPL. Hi, Madison. Hi, Wimmy. How are you? I'm doing great. Got the new set and I'm feeling good. Yes, I love it. Oh, thanks. So, what are you going to share with us and show us and expire? In, I said expire. <laughs> inspire us with today. Yeah. So, we have a fun project today um, that has to do with clouds because. Clouds are a really import, uh, important part of different kinds of weather. So like we saw in Brody's Wimage, they're important when it rains and clouds look different when there's different weather outside. So I went to a book in the library to learn a little bit more about clouds. And I found this really awesome book that's called First Big Book of Weather from National Geographic Kids. And I learned some really cool facts about different types of clouds. And the first thing that I learned that was really cool is that some clouds called cumulus clouds look like cotton balls. And so that inspired our activity today. Nice. So this activity is really easy and you can do it from home. You just need some heavier paper, like construction paper. It can be any color you want. Okay. You need some cotton balls, which you probably already have some at home. You'll need a bottle of glue and the bottle okay. really does work best, better than the glue stick. Okay. And then you'll need a marker um, in a dark color. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick out your piece of paper and just know that the color that you pick is gonna be your sky background. So maybe this is Ooh. early in the morning when the sun is rising, you've got a nice background here. Yeah. And then you're gonna take your glue bottle and open it up and you're gonna draw on the piece of paper what you would like the shape of your cloud to be. 
So I think we all know sometimes you look up at the sky and you see clouds that look like something familiar, right? So maybe you see your cat in the sky and that's what the shape of the cloud looks like. So you can be creative and you can make your cloud into any shape you like. So you want to put enough glue on the paper that the cotton balls are going to stick, but not too much that they're going to be wet. So you're going to do that. And then you're going to take your cotton balls. And for your cumulus clouds, those are the ones that you're going to see like on good days that there isn't um, going to be rain. It's just a clear day. You're going to take your cotton ball and just kind of smush it on the paper. You're going to do it like this. You don't have to do anything else because this is already the right texture for a cumulus cloud. Awesome. So go ahead and put all that on your paper and you might end up with something kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, cool, right? So yeah. what do you think I tried to make the shape of for this cloud? Can you take oh, it? I think it's the cat that was looking for the ball um, in our story. That is a really good guess well, because we were thinking of cats, right? This might look like a cat. When I was making it, I was thinking of a dinosaur, but that Whoa. is the cool thing about clouds is that sometimes when you look at them, you don't see exactly what someone else might see. Oh, that's true. Now I see the dinosaur. And you can always flip it over and turn it around and turn it into different things. Whoa, it's a pirate ship right now. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so there are lots of different options for your clouds. Um, we have one other type of cloud that you can make, and this is where your marker comes in. So before you make your uh, stratus clouds, those are going to be like the long, thin gray ones that seem like rain is coming. Yeah. You're going to take your cotton ball and you're going to use your marker to make streaks on there so that it looks kind of gray or it has a touch of color to it. So you can see we've got some color now, and then you're gonna use your fingers and pull the cotton ball apart and try to make it as long and flat as you can. Whoa! So cool, you're gonna make your clouds, and then same thing, you're gonna put your glue on your paper, and you might turn out with something like this that has some gray in it, and they look a little bit more um, ominous. You might think rain is coming more with these clouds. I love that word, ominous. Did I say it right? Ominous. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, is it going to rain? Uh -oh. Yeah, you can tell maybe something bad is coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, so there are lots of different options you can use to make your different clouds and use your cotton balls and pull them apart and make them different colors and stick them on in different shapes. I love it. Madison, thank you so much for showing us that awesome activity. <laughs> we'll see you at the next party. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Beep, beep. Friends, let's see what Sibley's got for today's Laughing with Sibley. Where do snowmen keep their money? In a snowbank. Where do they keep it in the summer? In a puddle. <laughs> I wrote the second one. <laughs> Friends, it's time to check in with April from the Comprehensive Therapy Center for Learn With Me in the CTC. <laughs> Hi, April. Hi, Remy. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm doing just fine. Oh, there's a sun behind you. I know. I know. I, I heard that you guys are talking about weather today. Yeah. Well, Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Take it away. What are you going to teach us? I can't wait. <laughs> My favorite part of weather is the sun. So I thought I would do a fun picture um, of the sun. And I just nice. used a little bit of finger paint and a big okay. paper and okay. put it up on the wall, which is super fun and great for strengthening my arms too. Whoa. And just made my own sign. But I also wanted to say that this is a good reminder because today is a sunny day for all of our friends watching Wimmy's Words to get outside and play in the sun. Love it. <laughs> so did you, um? You put the wall, you got to check with your family, right? Before you like put paint, you got to put it on a piece of, a big piece of paper on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say you probably want to ask your mom. And we always use these great Crayola washable paints. Ooh, yeah, nice. so 
if you do get a little bit on your clothes, which is okay, because I do too yeah. sometimes when I paint, um, your moms will be able to wash it out really easy. Nice. You know, I was thinking too, the clouds that Madison showed us, what yeah. if they combine the two and put like some cotton ball clouds on there? Yes, I love that idea. You could glue cotton ball clouds up here too and make a full creation. I also got some blue paint and I was gonna use that and kind of make a, a blue sky because who doesn't love sunshine and blue skies, right? Yeah. And see how I, right now, I'm just using my fingers, which that's okay. But if you have paint brushes, you could use a paintbrush too. But it's fun to use your fingers sometimes and just um, get really messy and creative. <laughs> I love painting. I love it. Well, Miss April, thank you so much for showing us the cool idea. And uh, we'll see you at the dance party. Thanks, Wyman. <laughs> man, oh, man. It's good times. Guess what, friends? We love books. It's time for Check Out This Book. <laughs> friends so today we're talking about weather and here is a book i wanted to show you it's called one leaf rides the wind and this book is has 10 poems that are in the style of haiku so it's a style of poetry from japan and this book um, counts from one to 10 and has 10 simple poems about different things that this young girl sees in the Japanese garden that she is in. And so um, one is about wind. Anyways, I think this is a really sweet book, um, very simple, and it is worth checking out at your library. Winnie. <music> check that book out at my library. You should check it out too. Check out more books about weather and haiku and poetry. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> well friends, it's time for today's Minute with Michael. I am so excited we launched the new set. And I hope Kevin is finally catching up on all those emails. Yeah, he's over. I see him backstage actually. How are you doing, Kev? Oh, I'm doing fine. I've got I got five of them done. Only five? <laughs> yeah. Okay, keep going. Well, that's why we'll keep him back there now. He's got to catch up to those emails. <laughs> how are you doing, Wimmy? How do you feel? I love it. I like how Brad said. He's like, yeah, we should be like reporting the news, right? Awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm still kind of getting settled into the space here and where to put my pencils and my notes. Is that breath fresheners you got there? Oh, yeah. I, I, I like to have a little mint every, just, you know, like one a day to. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. I, I really appreciate that. So I should have had, I should have had those mints while Kevin was still working with me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's checking emails, so he won't yeah. need them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what a great show. Um, really love the CTC and, and um, their inspiration. Um, Grand Rapids Public Library and making clouds. Clouds are so fun to make, aren't they? Yeah, it's so cool to take the cotton and just stretch it and make different types. Oh, I wonder what would mark for like lightning, maybe like some tinfoil? Ooh, we can probably color the tinfoil, right? Color it yellow? Ooh, yeah. I know. I I know. Growing up, um, lightning would really scare me. Yes, it's so bright, and then the thunder is loud. Yeah, but after that, the the nice calming raindrops would typically put me to sleep. So, yeah, yeah, I what's enjoy. Your favorite, what's what's your favorite kind of weather? I really enjoy sunny days. Sunny, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy sunny days. I enjoy. Um, days I can get up and go running um, without wearing gloves and and a whole bunch of um, garments on. <laughs> Sun is pretty good. 
The sun is good. Um, Sunny days. <laughs> Hey, let's check in with Brody and see uh, yeah. see what he's got for uh, an indie update. Hey, Brody! Oh, look at that! Nice. I think hey, he Brody. Sunny days too. Hi. Any updates to the women? Yeah. I put some Whoa. party balloons and a birthday cake. Nice. Nice. I see. Wemmy has his glasses on. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And um, is that Mr. Brad with the beard? What was that Wimmy with the beard? It's like a mix of Brad with Wimmy. Nice. I think if anybody could be a robot, it might be Brad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, good times. Good did you times. Uh, did you get get a chance to go outside to play today? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's really neat. Thank you for the awesome image, Wimmy. It's good to have you in your own set. Um. I guess I will join Kevin doing some emails, but uh, we love you, and I think it's time to dance, guys. Let's do it. Cue the music. Let's bring in Madison. Let's uh, let's get moving. Should I do acapella or should we play the video? What do you think? I I, I was started with acapella, but I guess maybe we could do the video. Here we go. What do you think? Um, okay, we'll do the video. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, see you Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimage, with additional support by these great partners. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs>